We're headed out today. Let's go. Going to Pikes Peak. Pikes Peak. Never so. been there. Don't know anything about it other than we're just going to just drive out there and see what it's all about. And, and yeah. we to, you know, it's a peak that's... It's peak. It's Pikes Peak. <laughs> so. Let's go. No, we're going to head out to Pikes Peak today. We're very close to Garden of the Gods, but we were there a couple years ago. So we want to go to check out Pikes Peak. And um, <clears throat> see what it's got to do. Make it day. It's a beautiful day out. So I think the highs are the low 70s. So. With the construction of its brand new Summit House Visitor Center, there's a lot to look forward to on your next visit to Pikes Peak. One of the most ambitious adaptations in the Visitor Center is the upgrade to the outdoor experience. All guests can now navigate to multiple points of interest on the Summit no matter their method of mobility. The new building and exterior walkways are all ADA compliant. And there are plenty of windows to give you glimpses of the breathtaking panorama unfolding below. And be sure to check out the Summit House gift shop, offering a great selection of gifts and souvenirs. Sasquatch, Bigfoot, and Yeti. It goes by many names and has been said to call Pike National Forest home. Passerby, visitors, park rangers, and investigators alike have told their tall tales of seeing the elusive hairy creature wandering the woods along the twists and turns of the Pikes Peak Highway. Sightings first date back to the 1800s. So who knows, on your next visit, keep an eye out for that friendly beast. America's mountain may be about 50 million years old, but the technology that is infused throughout the Summit House's interactive exhibit is as modern as it gets. Brand new digital features allow visitors to bring the mountain to life from the comfort of the great indoors. The spacious layout offers visitors the chance to explore numerous interpretive exhibits that are both educational 
and fun. You'll learn about the history of Pikes Peak, its geography, its climate as you wander. There's also a monument describing how Catherine Lee Bates was inspired to write the poem that became America the Beautiful. One option to explore Pikes Peak is the Cog Railway. The railway was closed for upgrades and repairs for nearly four years, but reopened in late May 2021. As the cars ascend the mountain, riders will catch a glimpse of pristine reservoirs nestled among the peaks of the Front Range. I do not do cold. How are we going up here? Ready to hit the car. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, it's cold up here, obviously. Um, I think it's in the 30s. It's in the yeah, 30s. I think it's in the high 30s. No, no, no. It's a low 30s. Oh, it's low. well, you know what? You're right. There's a. Uh, I'm low. sorry. I don't know what I was thinking. It's actually uh, sleeting. Hail. No, it's not hail. Sleet. I don't know. But, it looks like um, a little snowball. It's, it's, it's amazing up here. It's, it's, it is it really phenomenal. Is. It's, it's a phenomenal. Different, different way of looking at things. Look at those views. It's impressive. And you just think of all the people that have hiked up this back in the day. Hey, where are you going? To the car. What's at the car? Someone's a little cold. Someone's a lot cold, not me. It's cold, but she's gonna head back to the car and warm up a little bit. Look, come on out. <laughs> it's not that bad. Once again, no cold weather for her. I'll keep you warm. Come on. I'll keep you warm. <laughs> I'll keep you warm. You come on out with me and I'll keep you warm. Look, he's wearing shorts. It can't be that bad. Someone had to go back to the car and warm up. It's, we're at Pikes Peak. The elevation's over 14,000 and it's sleeting up here. It's late September. It's cold and it's sleeting up here, but it's cold. When you look down, it's a beautiful view amazing but yeah the drive up here is not for the faint of heart there's no very there's some spots there's no shoulders no shoulders on the road you have to excuse me I'm a little cold <laughs> but there's no shoulder it's a straight drop down so it's not for the faint of heart but if you get up here when you get up here it's worth it it's really awesome and they're putting in a new um, visitor center with a cafe a very nice shop there's even a tram or a trolley or whatever it is that you could take a scenic tour um, but yeah we're gonna keep walking around here and enjoy these views. Check out those views. And yes, that is sleep. It's sleep. That's so cool. Standing out here and it's sleeping. 
You know, I always heard about altitude sickness and uh, didn't think nothing much of it until I came up here and it hit me a little bit. So it does happen. You feel a little nausea, a little dizzy. That's exactly how, what happened when I first got up here. But uh, it's getting better. The more I'm up here, I guess I'm getting acclimated to it. I don't know. But it's, it's getting a little better. Just make sure you drink plenty of water if that happens. You know, no matter where you go when it's cold, there's always that one fellow in shorts, right? A couple of fellows around here are wearing shorts. Hey, babe. Hello. How are you? You nice and warm in here? I cozy. Okay. Cozy. All right, let's head back down. And we'll stop along the way. And Katrina has to drive. Yes. All right. Can you tell why Katrina has to drive? Yeah. Katrina's got to drive because somebody's got a little touch of little touch of altitude sickness, which shot was a little surprising. See, it was bad. Uh, it was bad when I was inside the okay, visitor so center. Worse. So what is it? You're just lightheaded. I was lightheaded, dizzy, and mm -hmm. a little nausea. Yeah. Really, you were nauseous too. Was, yeah, I was a little sick to my yeah. stomach. Like, <clears throat> yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's crazy. I don't mind being lightheaded in a good way, but man, <laughs> that hit me kind of hard. I was, uh, I swear. Chris is, Chris I, is soft, everybody. He's soft. I, I, don't know, I don't know about that, but I was lightheaded in the visitor center. I thought I was going to have to sit down. That bad? Yeah, I didn't, so want, I didn't say anything to you because I didn't want to, I you know, I didn't want to, um, you know, scare you or anything. I'm like, oh my God, I don't have to sit down. But it got better when I got outside and. Um, well, you should have said something. I would have went and sat down with you. No, I wanted to, um, I want to, you know, okay. tough it out. Tough it out. <laughs> I just couldn't believe. And all of a sudden <laughs> oh, it hit me. Oh, that's good. But anyway, so, but yeah, what you, they ask you when you, they ask you, uh, or they tell you. Please when don't you, stay more than don't, half an hour. Don't stay more than a half an hour. Because right. right now the area up, up here is being, there's construction going on. And. So there's limited parking yeah. spaces. Pretty much. And they ask that you just yeah. take about 30 minutes and then um, clear out for the next. But today I would think it's a slow day. There's not there's not a lack of parking up here. There's plenty of parking right now. It seems like it. The gentleman at the gate, though, when you first get here, he did say that we would have to wait because there was a lot of people coming. At mile here. marker 16. But they're not today. No, nah, that's no. not today. And what time but, did we leave? It was we got here about what, 9 30, 10 o'clock? Here at night? No. Is it later? No, we we left like at nine thirty to come ten to ten so o'clock. Like... The drive up here is not that bad, but yeah. once again, it's not for the faint-hearted because there are many spots, especially the higher you get, where there are no shoulders, switch and it's backs. it's switchbacks, and it it is straight down. Well, garden. I mean, um, like the going road to the, the sun. sun the going to, to the, the sun road was much worse. No, it wasn't. Uh. Uh. Oh yes. This is much yes. worse. No. This is much. This no. bothered me a little bit. Going to the sun is a piece of cake. That's nothing. Well, that bothered this me. sitting over here bothered me a little bit. But anyway, <laughs> it was a blast to come up here. It was great to come. It's a beautiful drive. It's amazing. We're outside. And look, I tell you, there's another fella. There's always, no matter how cold it is, I don't care where you go, no matter how cold it is, there's always that one guy. That's got a t-shirt and shorts on. It could be 32 degrees, and you're gonna you can go somewhere, and there's gonna be a guy walking around in shorts and a t-shirt. And I don't know what that's what's that all about. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, all right. Let's My go. husband doesn't do that. No, I don't do that. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah it, that's ridiculous. Okay. All right, right we'll head go? back down. Okay, let's go. back over.
in our way down the road, down from Pikes Peak, and they actually had to close off, stop new all new visitors from going all the way up because of the weather. It's still on our way down, and it's still sleeting. So, uh, yeah, just thought that was interesting. We noticed, Katrina noticed no cars coming up, but we, we figured it. It was, uh, they shut it down because of the weather, and sure enough, when we got down to the one checkpoint, they got it locked off.